Hi, Ghost Tin 3 here. Hey, it's about almost 3 in the morning. I want to show you guys. Uh, I've shown you this before, but what I want to show, show you now is the laser and the light in action, how powerful it is. And um, I'm in a backyard, and you're going to see a brick wall. Here's the IJK Optics. And this is a, I'm sorry, there we go. <laughs> and this is a <clears throat> green light and laser. And the light is, this Glock 22 has been checked, so it's empty. I do it before the video for any of you who want to know. That's the 2LLG dash SPX LED plus laser. And I wouldn't be pointing at a camera if I had bullets in it. So, anyways, you've seen this before in my other video. Here's the activator switch. And <clears throat> what I attach to it here, which goes from here to this part. Now, normally what you do is you control it here. So, people would do this. Say you're holding your weapon, and I'm holding a camera here, so I'm in front of my uh, camera so you guys can see this when I light it up. So normally you'd use your index finger or your thumb, depending on how long your fingers are, and, and activate it, you know, with uh, the two uh, levers right here that are on both sides. Well, not with this. With this, basically, I set the setting to the left. <clears throat> so you have your left setting. Oops, my camera. So you have your left setting here, which is your light and you have your center setting which is your laser and you have your right setting and whatever setting this is right here this toggle switch this activator will remember that and only activate that so if you're pushing it the third one will be late it'll be the light and laser as you can tell so <clears throat> let's get to it I'm gonna use I'm gonna go all the way to the left on the toggle right here and I'm gonna point this let me turn this uh, headlamp off so that way you guys can see this in the dark. Okay, what I'm doing right now is I'm going to be pointing it, like say I got it on, a, on my target, or my, or my threat, and basically I'm using my middle finger, as you can tell right here. My trigger finger would normally be here if it was in some kind of situation that's a threat, high threat level. So right now, I'm just that's this is how you activate it with your middle finger. So here you go at the wall. Very powerful. This is a 200 uh, lumen. Uh, like 230 something like that and um, so I pushed it once and as you can see it's all the way to the left right now <clears throat> the toggle switch is what I'm talking about so I pushed it once and it was a full light I push it again so I need it again I turn it off I push it again and then you get the SOS you get the strobe light you guys can see that basically the way this works is once I have the left I just want to use my light if I push it once I scan around looking for whatever the threat is I let go you know and then the second <clears throat> activation here not the toggle switch here and light only go straight because I waited now if I do it one more quickly I get the strobe so that's pretty cool I have a choice of that quickly but if you do it slow meaning okay here I am looking for something I don't see the target or whatever or maybe I see it and I want to go dark I let go <clears throat> now if I wait a little bit a couple seconds and then I do it again, maybe I heard a noise, and then I got the full light again. So what I'm going to do now is we just did the full light, and a couple seconds later, I just push it. I just activate it, and look, it gives me strobe SOS mode. I could blind my, my target. Now, <clears throat> right now I'm going to go into um, center with a toggle switch, and you'll see what that activates right now the laser. So, of course, it activates right here, and I don't have to play with the toggle switch. So I got a good grip on my, my weapon. So all of a sudden I'm threat over there. There's the laser as you can see. I'm scanning. I let go of the activator switch right there. And I do it again and go straight to laser. So as you can see right here on the table, that's only laser. The light is just from the, um, <clears throat> the camera, the light. So as you can see the laser. And what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to turn the laser on again. And zoom in since I got to use the table. All right. Now uh, hold on. Where did we go? It's really dark out here, folks. So I'm trying to zoom in where <coughs> where the laser is at. Okay. There we go. Oops. Lost it again. There we go. Pretty cool. Okay, so now we're going to go into the third setting. 
um, from the toggle switch right here and we go all the way to the right and then of course remember it gets activated right here so the third setting is going to be light and laser mode and at the same wall <clears throat> and so the first one will be just like the first setting on the toggle switch all the way left right now we're all the way to the right on the toggle switch and what's going to happen is going to give me light full light that stays steady and a center laser green laser in the center i let it go and two seconds later I push it again and it's going to give me the strobe white light and the laser in the center same as a, as the first one except the first one's just light only so i think that's really awesome that's great it's not confusing either so here we go i'm going to turn it on and i got might be a little hard to tell so i'm going to zoom in but basically if you can see there it is the green laser is inside the white light now i'm going to let it go and do it again now i got strobe and the laser at the same time that's pretty cool they they were thinking when they made this so i let it go and just like the first uh, setting on the on the toggle switch i'm going to i'm going to activate it and i'm going to wait more than 3 seconds and it'll just give me full light and a laser. So if I want strobe, I got to do it quickly again. But it, you can get to it real easy. And that's just through this, the finger activator switch. Nothing more. Real simple. So here we go. Full light and laser. Let go. I got strobe. So full light and laser. And I wait. So I'm going to wait about, I don't know, three seconds. Oops. It gave it to me again. So what you want to wait is again. And remember, you can always switch the toggle switch again to the all the way to the left setting, and you're going to get light only. So there we go. And it gives me the light and laser. Pretty cool, huh? I, I really believe these people were thinking when they made this. Um, this uses uh, <clears throat> two CR123 batteries and uh, lithium batteries. Uh, like I said, I did a video on this. I just wanted to do it at night right now. I kind of figured you guys want to see the, uh, the laser and everything. Um, I'm going to point this at uh, laser only at this telephone pole and this has got to be at least um, 40 yards and let's see you probably can't see it with the camera but you can see the laser so I'm going to find it with the laser there we go where that laser is hitting is basically the telephone pole there we go now I'm going to use the same thing except I'm going to do light only <coughs> and at the same pole yeah it's pretty powerful I can see that pole clearly so hopefully you guys can with the camera. Anyways, so there you go. I just wanted to show you guys that because of this, this uh, you know, even if I didn't have this uh, activator right here, sorry about that, um, button switch that I attached, this extension I attached to this, um, you could still do the same thing I just did, you know, with this 2LLG SPX with just these toggles right here. Same thing, except you're going to do one up, one down. And it'd be with your index finger, you know, like this. Uh, how normally done with the other models too, from other companies. But as far as I know, this is a 40 uh, Glock 22 40 caliber, and it fits on there. And I do believe it'll fit also on my uh, Glock uh, 26. Um, no, you know what? It's made for this one, and it's made also for the 9 millimeter. I was right. Uh, I heard they were making it for other guns. I don't know if it's out yet or whatever. Uh, this part right here, because that's separate. And, uh, but like I said, it's, I figured you guys want to see this at night and what it can do at night. This thing is just awesome. I mean, home protection gun right here. This is an everything gun for me. Zombies, space aliens, reptilians in earth, <laughs> good old burglar, gangsters, whatever it is. Um, you can light them up, blind them, play with it, you know, practice with your, uh, I always say toys and you guys know what I mean. Practice with your tools. I mean, I go outside at night, and I've done this a million times, and I'll do it again. And I practice so I know which one I'm on. Do I, do I want my light on? How can I switch it off? With this activator switch, it makes it so much simple. Um, I'm not stretching out. And I don't have big, large hands. Mine's are small to medium hands. So, yeah, I could still reach this. And then, you know, but why move your hand anything when all you got to do is move this middle finger and activate your, your light and laser, light only, laser and light, you know, strobe. I think that's an awesome idea. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, of my light and laser right here on my Glock 22. Uh, practice, like I said, constantly so you know exactly what mode you want for day or night. 
So take care. Click on the like button. I appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe. I have a lot of cool videos and more good things coming. And everybody, have a beautiful weekend. Take care and God bless.